All right, let's take a look at our final quartet of games. We've got Kansas City taking on Arizona on the road. They are minus three against the Cardinals. Uh, Packers, Vikings. Wow, right out of the gate, week one. Aaron Rodgers is back. Who he's throwing to, we're really not sure. Tampa Bay with Tom Brady being back, minus two and a half at Dallas. Boy, that's going to be a game everyone's watching, I guess, Vinny, right? And then, wow, Denver minus five and a half on the road at Seattle. The Denver Broncos, Vinny, minus five and a half. Look, I, I know they got Russell Wilson. I understand that. Uh, and, and there's some revenge involved here. And I know Seattle ain't going to be very good either. But, my gosh, there's a yeah, lot of faith in Denver being much better here. I don't know. I, some of these lines, to me, are screaming the other way, to be honest with you. Yeah, with the Seahawks, uh, there's going to be some emotions involved, right? It's Wilson's return. We made a big deal about that, but it's also a home underdog at night. The emotions are going to be flowing. They want to prove themselves that they can win without Wilson. Pete Carroll is going to be motivated in that game. So that's a number that I might be leaning to avoid there. But to me, what stands out is the Chiefs and Buccaneers. So those are very favorable numbers for two teams that you can count on in most weeks with Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady. And I like the Buccaneers where if they win by field goal, you're set there. I love that line against uh, the Cowboys going in there. The Cowboys don't have a distinct home field advantage, neither do the Cardinals. So you could see a lot of Chiefs fans out there in the desert supporting them in Arizona. So I do like uh, the old reliables there. Sometimes you have to go there and then avoid some of these uh, muddled middle teams, as I like to call them. Yeah, well, betting quarterbacks is always uh, a fun thing to do, Vinny, for sure. Uh, for me, again, week one you know, tends to be just upside down, and then things very much normalize after that. But uh, we're, we're going to find out just how good Russell Wilson is. That that line to me is the interesting one because Denver, uh, based on it, it, their quarterback last season, is I don't care who they're playing, they're an underdog going into this game. So Russell Wilson essentially worth a touchdown going on the road, as you mentioned, Sunday night in Seattle. I'm my eye on that as well. 